Hi, and welcome to Council Recap. We take the content of the City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Cedric Welton. Let's get started. In this Council meeting, we open with a proclamation for Daniel Lucero, who retired from the Army this past March. Lucero was acknowledged for his contributions to the City of Hawthorne and his time serving the country. Next, a proclamation was given to a representative for the American Lung Association regarding Turquoise Week. This association is celebrating its 120th year and the 10th year of Turquoise Week, which is to bring awareness to lung cancer, promote awareness about screenings and availability of testing kits to promote positive health. There were two resolutions this week which saw the approval of the following. Resolution number 8461, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Hawthorne, California, providing for a new city seal and logos. This resolution formally allows the adoption of a new city seal and logo. Next, resolution number 8462, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Hawthorne, California, adopting a list of projects for fiscal year 2024 through 25, funded by SB1, the Road Repair and Accountability Act of 2017. The City of Hawthorne will be receiving approximately $2,252,562 in 2004 through 25. This fund will be used to improve our transportation infrastructure, providing residents with more efficient transportation options. In the public hearings portion of the meeting, Council discussed the proposed budget workshop department work plans presentation for the fiscal year of 2024 to 2025. There was one ordinance this week, ordinance number 2252 in its first reading, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Hawthorne, California, amending section 2.30.140 of Chapter 2.30 of Title II of the Hawthorne Municipal Code and making a finding of exemption and compliance with CEQA in connection therewith. There were 13 items on the City Manager's Consent Calendar this week which saw the approval of the following. Project number 21-05, progress payment number three in the amount of $632,762.76 due to CEQA contractors of Santa Fe Springs, California for the Northeast Hawthorne Mobility Improvement Project. Council then approved progress payment number six for project number 23-04 in the amount of $592,661.30 due to Grubcon Incorporated of Baldwin Park, California for Sewer Main and Miscellaneous Storm Drain Improvement Project 2023. Then Council awarded Sequel Contractors Incorporated of Santa Fe Springs, California for their bid for project number 21-03, the 120th Street Improvements, Crenshaw Boulevard to Felden Avenue Phase 2. Council then approved progress payment number seven for project number 23-01 in the amount of $82,222.21 due to Electnor Belco Electric of Chino, California for Hawthorne Boulevard Mobility Improvement Project Phase 2. Council also approved progress payment number 11 for project number 21-06 in the amount of $112,916.32 due to Electnor Belco Electric of Chino, California for Highway Safety Improvement Project, Traffic Signal Upgrade and Reconstruction of 128th Street Improvement Project, Prairie Avenue to Felton Avenue. Council set bids to repair Betty Ainsworth's Sports Center exterior doors. Council authorized the approval to accept the lowest bidder to repair the exterior doors. Next, Council approved a first progress payment for project number 23-03 in the amount of $514,309.38 due to Best Contracting Services Incorporated of Gardena, California, for Betty Ainsworth Gymnasium Roof Replacement. Then Council approved progress payment number three for project number 22-05 in the amount of $577,012.47 due to Martinez Landscape Company Incorporated of Silmar, California for general maintenance. Council also approved progress payment number two for project number 24-06 in the amount of $271,671.50 due to Martinez Landscape Incorporated of Silmore, California for the Alley Improvement Project. Followed by Council approving the City-Owned Properties Renovation Project Professional Services Agreement with Pacific Packaging and Moving LLC for the next calendar year, and authorized the Department of Finance to create a blanket purchase order in an amount not to exceed $40,040. Then Council would approve fiscal years 2023 through 24 and 2024 through 25 blanket purchase orders for the Public Works Department. These purchase orders total an amount not to exceed $255,000 annually. And lastly, Council approved an agreement between the City of Hawthorne and the Riverside County Sheriff's Department to provide overtime funding for after hours or weekend investigations and or law enforcement. The Hawthorne Police Department was awarded $106,000, which has been adopted into next year's budget. There were four closed sessions this week. 
In the conference with legal counsel, anticipated litigation, significant exposure to litigation, the council gave direction to the city attorney. In the conference legal counsel, initiation of litigation against a third party, the city council voted unanimously and gave the city attorney direction to initiate the action. Then, the council met in closed session on the conference with labor negotiators regarding the Hawthorne Municipal Employees Association and the Hawthorne Executive Group. City Council tentatively agreed unanimously on both MOUs. That's all from the meeting this week. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can watch City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.youtube.com and searching for Hawthorne Community Television. See you next time. <laughs>